National Assembly Speaker Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula says she was taken aback when called a liar and a disgrace. I'm not angry. I was a bit stressed uh, when the insults were going on. But I then had to look at the person who was making these insults to me. These insults were hurled at her after she asked DA MP advocate Glynis Breitenbach to withdraw remarks she had made about an alleged intimate relationship Koleka Traleka had had with one of her previous bosses, suggesting that this was how Traleka had secured positions. And I have just ruled that Honorable Breitenbach should withdraw her statement. Honorable Breitenbach, will you please withdraw your statement? If you will not, Honorable Breitenbach, you may leave the house. The DA leadership were not happy with this call. Madam Speaker, you are being as dishonest today to this parliament like you lied about George's salary. You are dishonest, you are a liar, Honorable you do not Stan follow Hansen. the rules of parliament. You are a disgrace. Honorable you should not be sitting there. Steer Nason says his outburst about the Speaker being a liar relates to the salary of Secretary to Parliament, Olile George. The Speaker says she will leave these allegations up to the structures of Parliament to deal with. But she says her concern at his response runs deeper than that. What I do know is that here today he showed his signs. First, being a sexist, being a racist, and, of course, a man who has absolutely no regard for a woman. Stianazen says a debate of this nature has to be robust and the integrity and suitability of the public protector candidate Madam has Speaker, to be thoroughly interrogated. He said with Kaleka being a candidate for Parliament, public protector, everything needed to be on the table. And he believed the Speaker's decision to evict Breitenbach was unlawful. And before I was even a quarter of the way through my point of order, which was a valid point of order around her misuse and abuse of the rules, um, she was shutting me down. Parliament has to be a robust arena of debate and accountability. When you have a speaker that acts for one party and in the defense of the executive and of the party, you have a huge problem in Parliament. I never thought I'd see the day I actively said I would love to have Belek and Bete back in Parliament. He says accusations of racism and sexism are the last refuge of those who want to shield themselves from scrutiny and accountability. The DA says it's consulting with its legal team and will make a statement on Monday on the steps it plans to take. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.